Hi guys! Welcome to another episode of The Painful. So today, we're going to talk about the Genuine Temporary Entrance. As you know, the Genuine Temporary Entrance or the SOP Statement of Purpose is one of the most crucial parts of the application process for a student visa. This could either be the reason for the grant or the refusal of your visa. So it is important that what you write in your GTE or SOP will be helpful for your application. So I have outlined 8 major points of the things that should be included in your GTE. Mind you, it does not necessarily have to be a very long GTE. Uh, a 2 or 3 page or GTE is sufficient provided that all the necessary documents and all the necessary points have been stressed and been pointed out in your GTE. So before we start with the key points that I mentioned earlier, let me just give you some tips in the preparation of the genuine temporary entrance or the SOP. Number one, always speak the truth. Number two, provide strong proof of size from your home country. Number three, detailed reasons why you choose specific courses and institutions. Number four, demonstrate a thorough research of your future industry. Number five, talk about increased value each course has for your future career. So, it could either be the potential increase in the wage or career opportunity and or increase in positions. So next, number six, why study in Australia and why not in other countries such as the UK, the US, or Canada? Number seven, uh, you should have the proper documentation of all the attachments that you are going to mention in your GTE. And then, the attachment or the proof of your ties in your home country. So I have here the list of the eight major points that I included in my GTE. So the first thing that I discussed is more on about my personal circumstances. I introduced myself, uh, I shared my education, my eligibility, my training, my employment, and all other personal circumstances. The next point that I included in my GTE is my ties to my home country. So in here, I mentioned my husband, my children, my family, um, my parents, my siblings, my properties, and insurance. So next is, why did I choose Australia? I could have chosen UK or US or Canada, but why Australia? I outlined here the reason why I picked Australia. For me, it was Brisbane. So I included in my GTE that I preferred Australia uh, over other countries because I said um, Brisbane in, in Queensland has a subtropical climate, so it is a very good thing for me because I cannot tolerate too much cold. And I also considered the proximity of Australia to my home country, the Philippines, as compared to Canada and the UK. So number four is that why did I pick my school and my course? What is the relevance of my course? And of all the schools, why did I pick that school? That's point number four. And then number five is that, what is the relevance of my course in my chosen career? How would it help me grow? How would I have increased opportunities because of that course? Number six is that I discussed the reason for the gap, the relevant thing that should be considered in the preparation of your GPE is that there should be no gap from when you graduated college until such time that you already started working and when you applied for the student visa. And if there are considerable gaps during those times, those gaps must be justified. I discussed the gaps from where I stopped working. And before my case, I stopped working during the time because I had a baby. So it is an understandable and justifiable gap. So the next important point is that what are the projected employment after finishing the course? What are the opportunities that await you when you finish the course? And the last item, what could be the most important, is your economic circumstance in your home country. This would justify if you are really capable to be an international student because as you know, it is very expensive. So they would gauge if you would be able to pay for your studies. So those are the eight major points that I included in my GTE. Thank you and have a great day!